Do you like him without a beard? No. <laughs> I honestly was never very fond of facial hair. We're so eager, right? <laughs> Hey, it's Fred Brzezinski from Beard Brand Alliance. We are here with women of a certain age, women in their 50s. Let's see what they think of beards of a different size. Okay, I'm going to show you a celebrity you may or may not know. They have uh, different length beards. It's, it's the same person. We are looking at a very early executive beard. It's actually more of a stubble beard. No, that is what my husband wears. Yeah. And I like that. You like that? Yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I now, do. This would be a beard that would be particularly prickly. I don't know if I would like it, you know, for my spouse, but I, I yeah. do like it on him. Which I, interesting is on... Uh, and my son-in-law has one similar. He actually has a very consistent growth, like the way his hair grows in. He's not patchy or anything, so he can wear it short. It looks good. So this is Bryce Harper without a beard. Okay. So do you like him without a beard? I do. Okay. I do. So, but you like clean shaved guys. I do. Yeah. Do you like him without a beard? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fan of that style of beard in particular. He looks he looks dirty. <laughs> he looks dirty with a shaved face. <laughs> so I think he needs a little bit of a Right. That's five o'clock shadow though. That's that, not yeah, that's that's literally five o'clock shadow. Yeah. This is probably what he looks like at the end of the day. Yeah. Maybe one day of growth. What do you think of Bryce Harper when he goes full um, beard though? I feel like it could be long, but I feel like it's a little like unkempt. <laughs> I, I think he could wear like the longer look. It just feels like so much to me there. Maybe right. it's just it needs more beer brand. <laughs> <laughs> you hear it you heard it. Yeah, no, I'm serious, yeah. Uh, no. I think he looks better with it more trim to his chin. Feels like too much. It's like too bushy. That's a little too bushy for me. Too bushy. <laughs> so Bryce Harper in little, the big here. Little, little, little wild man. <laughs> okay. I'm going to pick one version of Bryce Harper. Shaved, executive, or big? Executive. Probably like him with in the middle with the executive. I do like clean shaven also, but... Yeah, the other one is just a little too bushy for me. I think the big root actually grew on me after looking at it, um, because I find beards fascinating. I don't know. No, no beard is no. Circle slash. <laughs> Circle slash on the no beard. Let's move on. We have an actor here. We have Chris Pine. He looks great. Really nice looking. He looks really nice looking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The eyes go right to his eyes. He has amazing eyes. Like, But then his facial features are... Okay, perfect. I mean, he's a nice nose. He's beautiful. He's beautiful. <laughs> so, obviously, a good-looking guy here. What do you think of him wearing a similar kind of executive beard? Yeah, I beard? think it works. He looks great. Again, his eyes pop, the blue of his eyes, and he's got um, big eyebrows that I think help carry his face. He's a very attractive man. Right? <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to argue with that, right? <laughs> So obviously a good looking guy, good looking face. What do you think of him shaped? That doesn't even look like him. <laughs> Same guy. <laughs> he looks like Brad Pitt to me. Um, but that's him. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. very baby face, if yeah. that's what you're going for. Yeah. Oh, he looks a little like sinister. He's like kind of <laughs> shady. <laughs> <laughs> well, his hair is also darker in the first one and it's more controlled. So I kind of like the overall look with the beard and that face than the, this kind of, this like surfer boy look. Kind yeah. Of. And last but not least, yeah. what do you think of him? Interesting. It's very different. Um, again, I think his eyebrows help frame it. I think he looks cool. I think he looks artsy. Um, he looks like a producer. Producer? Yeah. Well, he was a producer on that particular Yeah, no, I, I think he can do it. I think he can do it. And I like how he did his hair a little differently. It yeah. seems a little different. He looks like his brother. Like he, he doesn't. It really changes him. Yeah, I think he looks good with it more trimmed to his face. It's a lot of hair. His eyebrows are bushy. Like everything, there's a, just a lot of hair in general in that picture, right? So it might be different if he had his hair, you know, a little more, a little shorter or whatever, like that. Shaved, executive, long. Executive. I definitely like well, executive looks. <laughs> well, I think the best look here, and the way he looks the best, is the middle one with the executive. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I actually think the executive beard makes him look 
younger even than well, that. Well, he, he looks, he, that might be a younger picture. It might be, yes, because you can see the gray. But I do like the executive beard. It just, it's a little bit, it's a little bit of interest on his face. Moving on, we have someone who is near, near and dear to our heart. We have oh, Jason, Jason Kelsey. Kelsey. So this is his executive beard. Mm -hmm. I think it looks fine. I don't like the shadow of his neck where it's not, you know, it's obviously he's not groomed, so. I think this is a case where he is actually groomed and you're looking at maybe a little stubble coming in. Okay. Um, this is a look on a guy who carries, who has a fuller face and uh, I think he would look better if he let that hair come in a little bit. Right. I don't know. The executive beard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the executive beard works as well. Hard to find pictures of him without a beard, but here's him without Oh my a beard. goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think he looks better with the beard. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's a, it's a much older picture. I think he definitely looks much better with facial hair. Oh no. No, no, no. <laughs> Not working for me. <laughs> See, he, I actually don't mind him with a big beard like that when because his hair's short. That's what I'm saying. Oh, with the short hair. With yeah, the short it's hair. And it's like he can do that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like there's something that, so I don't know what that is, why that's acceptable. But he, I think he looks good like that. You know, and that's so I would definitely, mm -hmm. he's actually one that I would, you know, I'm okay with the bigger beard. You know? <laughs> Sometimes with a rounded face, it gives it, it just defines it a little more right. to have a beard. So I think that's part of it. Yeah, so I think it gives some definition. Plus, he's got his hair, you know, being shaved on the side. More. And I don't know if I like it better um, because I like the shorter hair look with the full beard. Um, I like it better than the, the executive beard. Um, so maybe that's what I like is like, uh, you know, the fuller hair with the fuller beard, maybe too much, but I like that look when they have the sides a little bit shorter. Yeah, I've actually talked about that a lot. I, you know, as a rule of thumb, you can wear whatever you want, obviously, mm -hmm. but it's. Like, if you're gonna wear long hair, sometimes a short beard will look better. And if you're gonna wear a big beard, short hair often looks better. We have Kurt Russell mm -hmm. with his um, executive beard, slightly longer, but uh, this is, represents maybe a two, two, three month growth. It looks like Moses. <laughs> this is something biblical. I feel like it looks interesting. Um, I know that's, I don't know if I can find another word, but it adds to his face. Yeah. Refresh your memory of what Kurt Russell looks like without a beard. Yeah, see, I, I love his big dimples, so I kind of like without the beard being able to see his dimples more. But I think he looks good either way. Yeah, not a fan. I don't know. Um, <laughs> his eyes look smaller to me. Um, so this is younger, though. So, not that much younger. Uh, interesting. Yeah, maybe. So he looks a lot older. In his looks, 50s. I would say, even though he looks older, he looks more handsome with the beard. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. Your husband, when he's fully shaved, does he look younger? I don't like it. He looks younger, but I don't like it. <laughs> so, yeah. not looking younger is not always it. Oh, no, because he looks more distinguished with it. Um, I just look more handsome. There's a war in the family because the kids always want to shave it. <laughs> he's probably shaving it along the way this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think he's, because he's such a familiar face, you know, you've seen him over the years in different movies. I recognize him without facial hair, but, I, you know, it's like... I think he looks fine, you know? It's right. like that's a, that was a look for him in a time of his life in acting. So does he look good when he has full throttle Santa beard? I think if he groomed it a little bit, it would definitely... Because his hair is groomed. His hair, the, you can tell he's got a hairstyle. Like, I think if he did the same thing to his beard, I think he would look fine. He can rock it, he can, but it's, this isn't my favorite look. No, it's, but I like a more groomed look, right? Like the hair's all scruffy and everything do. Right. The beard's scruffy, the hair's scruffy. It's just a little too too much scruff for me. Right. Yeah, to me that's too much. Yeah. I think because it's on, again, it's on count, like there's just so much going there. And again, maybe if it was like, you know, when it's groomed down, like it's combed down with a product, but it, it I mean, yeah. We have Kurt Russell shaved, an executive beard, and the big beard. Yeah, I'm gonna say executive beard. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I know I, I- So you're split now. I am split, yeah. 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 Based on those images, it would be executive. Okay, yeah. so you prefer his executive it's over his way. shave. I do. One, I think it's his hair color and beard all kind of, there's a consistency <laughs> there, <laughs> you know? I probably would like him between these two. Like this is still a little bit, I would clean that up a little bit more. Yeah, and clean his hair up more yeah. with the executive beard, but, and then I, then I wouldn't mind it. 
but I do like him on, on Shade Metal also. So that would be a stubble beard. So something yeah. between Shade and a stubble beard. Exactly. Oscar Isaac, longer executive beard, representing maybe a two month plus beard, right. two to three months. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like that a lot. Like, you know, speckled with some gray in there. Oh, no. Mm-mm. So, Oscar <laughs> <Shades>. <laughs> again, I know it makes him look a lot younger, but I feel like um, he just—I think he looks like much more handsome with the facial hair, um, distinguished. You know, a man of—I mean, he just looks like he's experienced. And I don't know if it was a doctor, I'd think that guy's been around longer in a good way. He just looks mature. <laughs> it looks <laughs> odd. Okay. That's so good. let's see that compared to him shaped. Okay. Yeah. I like both. I really do. I think he can wear both well. I probably like him a little more shaped. Yeah. Yeah. He look, I, I like him better that way. You like him better shaped? Yeah. There's a little bit of a five o'clock shadow here. Yeah. I don't mind that on him. I think it has a lot to do with the color of his hair, mm-hmm. his skin tone. It's, you know, it, it works together. So what is your thought on Five O'Clock Shadow and being more into it? Um, <laughs> not... <laughs> don't like that. <laughs> if I need an exfoliated, maybe. <laughs> well, most guys' beards, when they get to my length or longer, are actually soft. Yeah, and it's this length beard yeah. up to about two weeks uh-huh. that is the beard that hurts. Yeah. Which I find it so interesting that that's the preferred visual look in younger women. They uh-huh. prefer this uh, five o'clock shadow through uh-huh. two weeks and it's the beard that actually hurts. So Oscar here. I, I like that too. I so really this like is Oscar that. with a full beard. He is really bearded. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's, you can do it. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I think I almost like this better as well. Yeah, I think that ages him. But it's also probably the character that he's playing. He's probably meant to look aged a little bit. But but I do think it does age him. I don't know how groomed his beard is in this image I'm looking at with a long, but it seems like it's controlled more. And maybe that's just the texture of his hair. Where some you know, say, this was a, sh- a shot I think from Dune. It's definitely controlled here, yeah. um, which Kurt Russell's wasn't right. Um, and so it could also be cut to control. He has so much hair on his face that this is probably a clipper cut on the side to make it a little shorter. So we have Oscar shaved, executive beard, and a big beard. I probably still like him shaved the most, okay. but I don't mind the executive one. I, I would have to say I'm really torn, kind of leaning back towards that. Um, Maybe it's because he's in a tux and he looks handsome in a tux. <laughs> um, he looks very sophisticated with that. And it might be like his hair's longer, which um, it's just nice. It's like all the curl kind of goes in the right spot. Whereas here's just hairs are just like short, you know? Right. I feel like this adds a lot of like, like dimension or. Yeah, so that's one thing to keep in mind um, when you have a beard, is not, not neglecting what your hair looks like, especially at a given length. Like I think Oscar would look better if he had more of an interesting haircut with yes. the shaped. Probably, absolutely. Yeah, it's such a boring haircut. It is. a boring face. Yeah, yeah, right. Right, yeah. I don't know, I think think I'm going to go smooth. And again, it could be the the picture that I'm looking at. Is it Reggie? Reggie Jean. Reggie Jean Page. So he was on Bridgerton. Um, okay, yeah, I know. I, yeah, I and he is known in for particular sure. for having this particular beard. Okay. It, it, it okay. almost never changed throughout okay. the series. All right. Um, so, what do you think? This is his stubble executive beard? Yeah, that's great. More modern beard. You can see it's actually very tapered on the sides. So, does this, uh, this brings down, that's his This growth is his pattern. natural yeah. beard pattern. Yeah. So, he has a very low um, growth pattern below his lower lip, and he has disconnect between his, uh, the tails of his mustache and the sides. Mm-hmm. A lot of guys on our channel um, worry about this as a, uh, a patchy beard. Um, does that strike you as a patchy beard? No, it actually looks styled. I mean, it looks yeah. like it's done for the small. So, what does he look like when he's shaved? I think he looks great that way. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a really defined jawline. So, yeah. yeah, looks good. And this is just without anything, right? That's nothing. Yeah. 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 So that's his shave face. Okay. Um, so what do you think of uh, him shaved? Um, yeah, I don't, I think he's better with, with some facial hair. So slightly longer hair <laughs> than Yeah, again, not my favorite. Okay. Uh-uh. Maybe it's the growth, but there's like some cabbage here, but um, 
Yeah, that's that's a natural pattern on, on many men don't have the connection. Like mine grows up to my lip. Yeah. Um, a lot of guys so don't. Depends. It's yeah. like a 50 50, and a lot of guys will be um, have patches particularly uh-huh. here. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. A very I don't like yeah. to, I don't like the gap here. You don't notice it when he has a groomed beard, but you suddenly notice you it. You notice it when it's longer. So on him, when you look at all three of them. I like him shaved. I just like seeing the jawline in that. He's a strong jaw. Right. You know. The, the, the middle one, the executive. Yeah. yeah, I just like how it, um, you know, just it completes his face, and um, it's a, the chin line. I just think it shows more. Right. Again, I would say I, I like the clean shaven look, but I would say the executive beard, if that's what you're calling this one, I do think gives him a little more definition. Right. And I do like that. So I think, guys, if there's any takeaway from his type of beard is it doesn't have to be full coverage to look good. You have this very siloed beard and you can actually trim your um, stubble beards, your executive beards into shapes like this to achieve that type of look. That's it, guys. We have the opinion of women in their 50s. Is this what you thought women would think of guys of different beard lengths? Uh, Comment below and tell us what you think. Until we meet again. What's up? Uh, Beard Brand Founder here, and I want to talk about this utility oil. We encourage you to use it not just for your beard, but beyond the beard. This works great as a face oil, as a tattoo moisturizer, body moisturizer, skin moisturizer, anywhere you want to hydrate. Enjoy utility oil.